Hello, fellow believers, brethren. I welcome you today again to this channel in the name of Jesus Christ. I have a song for you today. I am free, 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 free indeed. Jesus set me free. I am free indeed. I am free, 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 free at last. Oh, Jesus set me free. I am free indeed. I am free, 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 free indeed. Oh, Jesus set me free. I am free indeed. Sing with me. I am free, 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 free at last. Oh, Jesus set me free. I am free indeed. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We are free in Jesus Christ. We are free indeed. Because the Bible says, if the Son therefore shall make you free, then you are free indeed. So I welcome you today, all my students, the believers in Jesus Christ, those who believe in the Lord, and the new students and new believers, all of you all over the world, you are welcome in Jesus' name. My name is Atel, Atel the evangelist, and also a missionary and the teacher of the Word of God of peace. And uh, today I'm talking about... Uh, about um i'm in a discipleship prayer classes now so i'm just talking yesterday i was talking something about uh, my last video was something about uh, putting the whole armor of god and uh, today i want to talk about fighting the good fight of faith fighting the good fight of faith so let's go to the scripture immediately and let's just start to discuss it immediately i know that people say that there is no battle that some christians they believe that there is no battle when you come to jesus christ there is no war there is no battle oh yeah you, you will just like the time the children of israel came out from egypt when they came out from egypt god told them that um, to go and take the promised land god promised them already that he has given them the promised land but he told them that they, they, they have to go in and contain with the kings of those places in battle before they can they can take it. It's the same the same situation with us today. All believers, if you have become a, a born again a Christian, the, all the promises that God promised, everything that God promised, He has already given unto us through Jesus Christ. But you have to contain in battle with the principalities the powers the forces of darkness to get your blessing to get your stuff in the name of jesus that is what they call the good they fight the good fight of faith because the children of israel god already gave them the land he told them that they can go in and take the promised land but they have to contend with those giants in that promised land in battle contend them in with them in battle before they could possess the land they could not just go in and just take it they have to contend with those forces that were already occupying those lands push them out before they could uh they could take the place that is the same situation with us today with born again christian so god has promised you marriage and healing and deliverance and financing everything is in in christ but now you have to fight that good fight of faith before you can possess your promises that god has promised you in redemption amen amen so let's go now to the scripture it is first timothy 6 verse um verse 12 let's read from there it says that fight the good fight of faith and lay hold on internal life whereunto you are also called and you have professed a good profession which means confession before many weaknesses so and it continues verse 13 and i give i give the charge in the sight of god who quicken all things and before Christ, who before Pontius Pilate witness a good confession. Because this um, uh, Christianity is a Christianity is called the great confession. Jesus Christ is our our high priest of our confession, according to Hebrews 3 1, that Jesus Christ is the high priest of our confession. So what we confess and what we say, that is what Jesus Christ can use to, to help us in our life. In the name of jesus so we have to fight this good fight of faith if you saw you see in the bible how uh, caleb and uh, joshua were the only two who entered the promised land because of their confession the other ones who even went to go spy the land they came back they said we cannot go in their giants in the land but uh, caleb and joshua they said no we can just go in and take it you know if god be with us we can just go in and take it and they could they, they were the only two that god accepted them to enter into the promised land because god said they believe in me they believe they saw all the miracles in the wilderness they believe in me so that is why they could enter there they said they are bread for us the, the 
giants are bread for us. That's what Caleb said. They are bread for us. If God be with us, we can possess it. You know, and Caleb entered there and he took the land. And even uh, Joshua also, they took the land. But all the others who were complaining, were grumbling, we were scared, they were afraid. All of them died in the wilderness. They did not make it to enter into the promised land. So it's the same situation with us to fight the good fight of faith. Because there is a war. There is a battle. There is a spiritual battle. We are not fighting. Let's go now to Ephesians 6. Let's see with who we are fighting this battle. Ephesians 6. Go with me quickly to Ephesians 6. Verse 10 to 18. It says, Finally, my brother, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. So put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. That means the tricks, the scheme, the lies of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, and against spiritual weakness in the high places. Those are the people that we are fighting with. So, and God has pro provided now all this armory before we even fight to put on this armory that he has provided it to us. He said, put on your God of truth. You put on truth because Jesus Christ, the Bible said the law, uh, law and um, uh, the law came through Moses, but grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the the only way the truth and the life this world is truth and the the this holy spirit that he gave to us is the spirit of truth so you have to put on your gutter of truth and you put on your breastplate of righteousness and you put your helmet of salvation and then you take your sword of the spirit which is the offensive weapon and you put take on also your shield of faith you must have faith in god and that is the battle where we are fighting the battle of faith because the devil is not fighting you because of anything that you have or anything is just fighting you not to believe in jesus christ first of all he will first try not try that you should not even believe in jesus christ he will blind your eyes as the bible says that he has blind all the people in the world so that they will not even know god so now when you even happen to come and find jesus christ he will now be fighting with you with his tricks and his scheme and his wives so that you don't believe in jesus christ so that you because the bible says uh, in the book of hebrews that if you don't believe you cannot enter god's rest you know, so that is a fight of faith that we are fighting, fighting this good fight of faith. It is only because of faith that Joshua and Caleb entered the promised land. The other people did not enter because they did not have faith in God and they did not believe God. So that is a battle of faith that we are fighting. And these people where we are fighting is the principalities and the powers. It's not our father, our mother, brothers and sisters or, or flesh and blood where we are fighting against the principalities and powers, Satan and his co-workers. So yeah, so we are fighting against the principalities, the powers, the rulers of darkness of this world and spiritual wickedness in the high places. So that's why we have to put the whole armor of God and we have to cover our mind, especially with the helmet of salvation, because we have to know that you are safe. We are safe. We are safe. You have to tell yourself every day, I am safe in Jesus Christ's mighty name. That's how you put your helmet of salvation. I'm saved by grace through faith. It's not by works or anything that I do, but it's by grace through faith in the name of Jesus Christ. So you put on your hand of salvation that is one of the weaponry where god has given so i'm talking today about fighting this good fight of faith so that you will not be deceived by the enemy and which armor do you need for your mind which is the helmet of salvation you are safe already by grace through faith you did not deserve it you did not work on it it's not works by but you got it through grace and it's a free gift that god gives to uh, in salvation in the name of jesus amen so let's go now to second timothy and um Let's go to second. No, let's go to sec, uh, second Corinthians. Second Corinthians ten is talking about uh, our weapons, the weapons of our warfare. The Bible says second Corinthians ten um, from verse uh, three. Let's go down from three. It says, "For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war uh, after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal." They are not physical. You don't take a physical knife to go fight. They are not canal, the weapons of our warfare. But they are mighty true God to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imagination, and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God, and bringing it into captivity, every thought to the obedience of Christ. So that is the, the weapons of our warfare we fight. The weapons of our warfare, they are not canal, but they are mighty true God. It's the word of God that we use, which is quick and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword. That is what we use to fight this war. 
warfare with and then you put on your helmet of salvation so that you can be able to cast down evil imagination because the enemy fights you only in your mind and in your thoughts so you have to cast down these evil thoughts cast down evil imagination any high thing that wants to exalt is against the knowledge of god bringing this evil thought into captivity to the obedience of christ you have to bring all the evil thoughts into captivity. That's why you have to put your helmet of salvation on. It's very important. That is one of the armory that God has given unto you. The hope of salvation, the helmet of salvation. You have that hope that you are saved. So you cover your head and your mind so that you are not attacked on your mind. So that you, you, you don't believe Jesus Christ anymore. Because the enemy just wants you not to believe anymore. The Bible says in the last days, many people will be falling away from the faith. And it's because of unbelief. And the Bible says that because of unbelief they will not enter my rest so many people did not enter the promised land in the in the old covenant because of unbelief and it's the same thing because that was the shadow of things but now the real thing has come which is jesus christ and it's the same situation so you have to put your helmet on you have to put your helmet on to cover your mind and so that you can cast evil imaginations down in the name of jesus christ so that you can be able to stand in the evil days having done all to stand stand therefore in the name of jesus and fight this good fight of faith this good fight of faith is not a fight of anything it's just fight for you to stand in the faith when jesus christ come because the enemy does not want you to stand in the faith that's why so many people have renounced christianity they have renounced and christianity is the only true uh true uh worship of going to directly to to heaven to jesus christ the faith in jesus christ but so many people have renounced it only because they have taken away their armor remove all of their their helmets of salvation forget about jesus christ and say that the blood is not enough the work of the cross was not enough and they have fallen for faith that's how many people are falling now away so still do everything to put on this free armor that god has given unto you which is a helmet of salvation Come Okay, so as I was explaining that in 2 Timothy, if you go to 2 Timothy, if you just read in 2 Timothy about uh, as, as we are now believers, we are all in this battle. As uh, Paul was speaking to Timothy in 2 Timothy 2, verse, um, let's just read from verse 1. He say, you therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that, that is in Christ Jesus. And also the things that you have heard of me among many witnesses, the same commit I faith to faithful men who shall also be able to teach others. You therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. No man that worried entangle himself with the affairs of this life that he may please he who, who have chosen him to be a soldier so jesus christ is our commander officer and he's the one that has chosen us to be a soldier in his army so you cannot say that that you are not in a war and you are not fighting we are fighting against the principalities and the powers just like how the children of israel were fighting against the giants before to enter the promised land is the same that we are fighting with them also in the name of jesus christ the giants and the principalities and the powers and the rulers of darkness god in redemption has given you everything in jesus christ but before you get these things you you have to fight the good fight of faith to take hold of the promises that God has already given unto you in healing, in deliverance, and in everything, which is a fight of faith because the enemy will throw you fairy that of sickness, disease, lies, and all kinds of stuff. So you have to stand to a good fight of faith and believe the word of God and believe the truth of God and say, no, Jesus Christ said, by his stripes, I'm healed. No, Jesus Christ said this, by this, this, I was, you know, you have to hold fast, um, or internal life as paul said fight the good fight of faith and then you can take hold of internal life take hold of your soul because the enemy wants you to not believe Je believe god not to believe jesus christ not to believe the work that was done on the cross and he does that through lies and skin the bible calls it in ephesians uh, 6 that wives that we should put on the whole armor of god so that we can be able to stand against the wives of the devil which means his lies so that is the lies so that you can be able to stand in faith so I pray today that as you get this uh, message, be able to stand in the faith and I ask God to establish you in the faith in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I hope you got, get something today here. Let me just recap that we are fighting the enemy, which is the principalities and the powers according to Ephesians 6. 
you can read there that and then god has provided for us all the armories that we have to put on in the name of jesus christ and that we don't wrestle against flesh and blood but against the principalities and powers and then the armor and the the, the weapons that god has given unto us is not carnal weapon it's not the weapon that you use and now they say but they are mighty they are they are spiritual weapons they are mighty through god to the pulling down of strongholds in the name of and casting down imagination that is why you have to put on your helmet of salvation so that you are not you are not attacked on your head and your mind because the enemy attacked only the mind to deceive you so that you will not be able to believe what jesus christ has finished on the cross of calvary for you and all the promises that he has made for you in the name of jesus i hope you get something here today in the name of jesus god bless you in jesus christ's mighty name if you have not subscribed subscribe in this channel in the mighty name of jesus i will see you in the next video so this video is called fight the good fight of faith according to the word of the book of timothy first uh, timothy 6 verse 12 fight the good fight of faith our battle in the, on earth is just about the fight of faith just as joshua and caleb they fight the good fight of faith before they could take the promised land the, all the others who did not have faith in god died in the wilderness so that is why our fight is a fight of faith in jesus christ's mighty name so thank you for watching again i will see you in the next video god bless you in jesus christ's mighty name